Now, I know this is going to sound like nonsense to a lot of you, but there used to be a time way back in the day where you used to buy something and you would own it. That's right. You would pay for it one time and it would be yours forever. Unless it broke or something, but other than that, it was yours. It belonged to you. Maybe some of you guys are too young to remember that, and if so, then that really sucks because it's not like that anymore. Everything now is a bill or a subscription. There's absolutely jack shit left that you can outright buy anymore. As you may have already figured out when you clicked on this one, I may YouTube videos, right? And you would think I would be able to buy my program to make my videos know I have to pay for Adobe, dog shit Adobe that everybody knows is trash and that I hate. I have to pay monthly for them. I have one plugin in Premiere that I have to have, absolutely cannot go on without it. One plugin, not even the actual program itself, and it's over $200 a year. Now why? I couldn't fucking tell you. I literally do not know. There's absolutely no reason that I can't just buy this plugin outright. There's none. I pay every month for Twitter Blue, and why, why the fuck? do I do that? I couldn't even tell you because I don't get anything out of it. I get a little blue badge. Complete waste of money. Don't even know what I get it for. I have a password manager. Even it's a monthly fee. All I'm storing is like maybe three megabytes worth of data. Maybe. And that's pushing it. Do you like watching movies or TV shows? Well, good fucking luck, bud. Because there's about 200 different streaming services and every single one of them has different shows and movies. So whatever movie or show you want to watch, you just have to hope that it's on one that you already have or you'll have to get another one. I had to get the password manager because I have many different subscriptions I have. I can't keep up with this shit. I, I literally can't even keep up with my own passwords. I'm not saying that I advocate for piracy, but you know what? It would not hurt my fucking feelings one bit. It's almost like these companies want us to go back to pirating shit. The whole point of all this it, to begin with was for cable, to kill cable, to make an alternative to cable that was better. And for a little bit, we had an alternative to cable that was better, but we don't anymore by the time you subscribe to Netflix, to Hulu, to Disney+, Plus, to Amazon Prime Video, to Apple TV+, Plus, to HBO Max, to Paramount+, Plus, to Peacock, to YouTube Premium, to Sling, ESPN+, Plus, Discovery+, Plus, Crunchyroll, Funimation, Stars, Showtime, AMC+, Plus, Tubi TV, Pluto TV, Fubo TV. Like, I know you're not going to sit there and try to tell me that this is a better alternative than cable because at this point it's not. At least with cable you could pay and get everything. Half the time you don't even get to know what the fuck you want to watch, what it's on. You have to look up, oh hey, I want to watch Spider-Man. Is it on Netflix? Is it on Hulu? Is it on HBO Max? You don't know. You have to Google it just to figure it out. Unless you sell the seven C's and you type in fucking Spider-Man and look at that, it's right there and it's free and it's honestly more convenient than half of these fucking streaming services now. In the video streaming services, we saw that coming after cable, we knew. But the amount of things that have taken the mantle up for them and have made all of their services subscription base is just absolutely absurd. There are people out here paying for premium weather apps like, bruh, half of y'all don't even go outside and if you do, walk out there and look up at the sky. Do you see fucking clouds? Does it look like it's gonna rain? Because if it does, it probably will. And if it doesn't, then it probably won't. You like playing video games? games and you don't play on PC, well, you're gonna have to get PlayStation Plus or you're gonna have to get Xbox Live. That's gonna cost you every month just to play online for the games that you already bought on the console that you already bought on the internet that you already pay for. I literally saw online a subscription service for designer baby clothes. And anybody who gets that, please let me know because I would love to slap you in the fucking face. Oh, I got this Louis Vuitton shirt in the mail for young Eric. He'll be able to wear it for about three months and then it'll be two too small. Ha 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 ha. Subscription services for pet food. Oh, you think it's so much more convenient? Well, the whole reason is just to get you to buy their specific brand. You can't buy anybody else's brand because you're already on their fucking subscription. Fitness apps. Used to be one-time purchase. Not anymore. Guess what it is? A subscription. Take something like the Peloton. An exercise bike. Huge. Popular. It's fifteen hundred fucking dollars and to use the thing you almost are forced to get a subscription with it. That is forty four dollars a month. Otherwise, you got a fucking coat rack. Yes, forty four Four dollars a month after you already paid fifteen hundred dollars for an exercise bike. Maybe you should just buy an actual fucking bike at that point. Because after you got hit by a car, the hospital bills would still be cheaper than that shit. Unless you live in the United States, because our healthcare is dog shit. But don't get me started on that. And like it's not bad enough already that they're trying to force you to pay month to month to month to month. They try to make it seem like they're doing you a favor where they get you on annually, and they're like, oh, if you get the annual plan where you're forced to pay month to month to month, we'll give you a discount. Like, gee thanks aren't you so kind not you just trying to get me locked in so that way i can't fucking cancel free trials limited time offers all these fucking scumbag tricks that they try to throw at people to get them to subscribe without realizing what they're doing because these companies are banking on you getting in there and forgetting to cancel so you keep getting charged if you don't cancel that free trial in time you will end up with a paid subscription and half the time when you go to their website to cancel it's almost fucking impossible half the fucking services i use don't even let me take my debit card off and then by the time you're subscribed 
subscribe to all these different platforms and services. There's so many to keep track of. I don't even know what's coming out of my account anymore. People can spend hundreds, if not thousands of dollars over the course of a year without even realizing what they're actually even spending. And it's so hard to budget it because there's so much you have to keep track of. Like, it seems like it's convenient, everything being automatic and taken straight out of your account, but it's not because it's inconvenient when you're broke because they took all your fucking money after you fucking subscribed to things. Didn't even realize half of these things you were subscribed to anymore or didn't mean to even be subscribed to. And yet here they are charging you every single month, taking all the fucking money you got because, hey, you know, this $4.99 and this $8.99 and this $9.99 and this $7.99 doesn't seem like much until you have even just a few of them and then all of a sudden that shit adds up. Next thing you know, money's just disappearing. You don't even know where the hell it's going. Don't you just love it? You don't even own anything anymore. Like, let's take gaming, for example. You don't buy a game. They'll charge you $74 for the game, but you don't own it. You're buying a license to play it temporarily. The server shuts down, you're fucked. They decide to take your license away for no reason, you're fucked. You don't want to play the game anymore and you want to sell it? Well, that's too bad. You can't sell it. You want to give it to your friend? Like, hey, dude, you should play this game. Here's my copy. Nope, you can't do that. You got to prove that you're online even just to play the fucking game. So anytime the servers go down for the game or for the service you're on, you can't even play the games that you bought, even if they're single player. It doesn't matter. You want to buy a movie? You don't own it. You own the license. You want to buy music? You don't own it. You own the license, which can all be taken away from you at any point. Well, we could make that into its own fucking entire separate video. I don't even know if you guys have heard of this, but literally BMW is out here. They may have walked it back by now. I don't know, but I remember hearing and seeing and reading about them adding a subscription for their cars for heated seats and keyless entry when it was already in the car. But if you didn't pay the $18 a month, you didn't get it. And I wish somebody would try to sell me a car and then tell me I have to pay $18 a month to heat my ass on my leather seat that I just paid $40,000 for because I would spit in their fucking face. I'd take it right back to the dealership that same day. You guys can suck my dick. And it's not even like these prices stay the same. Netflix has raised their fucking price like four times in the past two years. Spotify, Hulu, every single time I get on one of the services that I've been paying for, for I don't even know how long, I get a pop-up that's like, hey, the price is going up. Like, fucking thanks, that's great. You guys aren't making enough money off of me already? Or the 200,000 people that don't even realize that they're getting charged every month by you? You fucking scumbags? Every single thing now, ev everything is behind a paywall. And not just a paywall, a monthly paywall. Apps, news, games movies, music, your fucking car. And there's so many of them that you can't even keep track of them. There are actually subscription management services that cost per month, which is ironic as fuck that you would pay per month for a subscription to manage all your subscriptions that you pay monthly on. Doesn't that sound fucking stupid to you? Because it sounds pretty fucking stupid to me. I'm so fucking sick and tired of every single thing being a subscription. And I literally mean everything. You cannot buy anything anymore. And I don't know if I live under a rock or if you guys just don't care as much as I do, but I feel like I don't hardly ever see anybody talk about this, but every single fucking thing that I use is trying to nickel and dime me to get money out of me every month, and I am just so unbelievably tired of it. So There has to be people out there that feel the same way, right? Like, you guys have to be sick of it, too. I refuse to believe that the people out there aren't as sick of it as I am. And, you know, maybe it would be worth it if I felt like I was paying monthly for a superior product, and that my money was being put towards this product to improve the product and give me a better product moving on, but that's never what happens. They just want to keep you as a customer so that they can keep pumping you with the same fucking shit that they've been making for the past three years the same service that's been the exact same hasn't changed is full of shit doesn't work but that'll be two dollars extra next year i miss the days where i could go and buy something and i would own it and companies actually had to compete with one another because if you made a shit product nobody bought it or if they did buy it when the next one came out they wouldn't buy it because they hated your company now your reputation actually mattered competition actually mattered you had to make a good product and put out a good product because people would buy your product and don't want to buy shit. But now they can cover it all up with their fucking shitty subscription model. I don't know. I just hate it. I hate it so much and I want to know what you guys think of it if you hate it too. But either way, I, I don't know. Just uh, put down in the comments how you feel about it and let me know actually down in the comments which ones you found to be the most egregious because there are some stupid fucking subscriptions out here and I want to hear about the dumbest ones because I managed to find some stupid ones when I was looking them up for this video but I want to hear ones that you guys have heard of. If you want to hear me talk about more shit, make sure you subscribe but let me know down in the comments some shit that you want me to talk about next. But either way, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Whether you did or didn't, let me know. I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.